Hello, and welcome back to Game My Movie Recap Channel. In today's video, we're gonna tell you the storyline of a movie called Skyscraper from the year 2018, telling us about a former FBI agent, Will Sawyer, who is now a security consultant, finds himself trapped in a towering inferno when a group of terrorists sets fire to the world's tallest building, and he must navigate through a series of treacherous obstacles to rescue his family who are trapped above the blazing flames and outsmart the terrorists before it's too late. And so without further ado, let's get straight to the video. But before we start, please support our channel by subscribing and click the bell icon for future notifications. Now, let's start. The movie begins in Minnesota amidst the hostage crisis where a man named Ray holds his family captive while one police officer has already been injured. A specialized team is dispatched to rescue the trapped family. They create an opening in the wall and aim their rifles at Ray. Unexpectedly, Ray turns around, revealing that he is holding his son. In this tense moment, one of the agents, Will Sawyer, intervenes and urges his colleagues to lower their weapons. Will engages Ray in a conversation, persuading him to release his son. Reluctantly, Ray complies. However, to everyone's horror, Ray then produces a detonator, resulting in a devastating explosion that claims the lives of his family, as well as most of the rescue team. Will sustains severe injuries and is rushed to the hospital in critical condition. During his hospital stay, he encounters a surgeon named Sarah. Fast forward 10 years, Will now lives with the aftermath of the tragedy as an amputee, having lost his left leg below the knee and relying on a prosthetic limb. He is relocated to Hong Kong and is happily married to Sarah, with whom he shares twin children named Henry and Georgia. Will's current endeavor involves a crucial meeting with Zhao Long Ji, the brilliant architect responsible for designing and constructing the Pearl, an immense skyscraper in the city. Prior to the meeting, Will reconnects with his friend Ben, who also endured injuries from the hostage situation and bears burned scars on his neck. Will and Ben join Zhao and his business partner, Mr. Peace, for a meeting. Zhao presents Will with a cutting-edge tablet that utilizes facial recognition to grant him access to the Pearl system. Meanwhile, Ben covertly communicates with an unknown individual, discussing Will's acquisition of the tablet. The mysterious contact instructs Ben to ensure Will boards a boat. Undeterred by the clandestine conversation, Will proceeds to accompany Zhao on a tour of the Pearl. The skyscraper showcases remarkable technological advancements, boasting an integrated ecosystem and an awe-inspiring room adorned with a captivating hall of mirrors, offering a breathtaking view of the city below. After concluding their visit, Will and Ben embark on a boat journey back home. Unfortunately, a thief suddenly snatches Will's bag, prompting Ben to give chase. Despite Ben's efforts, the thief manages to escape. Returning to Ben's apartment, Will reveals that he had cleverly placed the tablet inside his jacket rather than the stolen bag. Realizing the significance of the situation, Ben contacts his superior and begins devising a contingency plan. Inside the basement of the Pearl, a group of criminals initiates a break-in. Meanwhile, Sarah and the children return to their residence in the building after Henry falls ill during their outing. They encounter two individuals posing as staff members, arousing Sarah's suspicions. The criminals realized that the family's presence was unexpected. They rendezvous with their team and proceed to spread a combustible powder on the floor, which they ignite with water. The group's leader, Kors Bota, uses a flare to activate the sprinklers, causing the powder to ignite and start a fire. As Will begins his journey back to the Pearl, Ben confronts him, pointing a gun due to his frustration over Will's supposed role in ruining his life and attaining a better existence post the failed hostage rescue. They engage in a physical altercation, during which Ben removes Will's prosthetic leg. Despite this disadvantage, Will manages to hold his own by hopping on one foot. The altercation reaches its climax when Ben attempts to shoot Will, but accidentally shoots himself in the chest instead. As Ben lies dying, he reveals that Will's family was not meant to be inside the Pearl and that the villains are after the tablet. Will gazes out the window and witnesses the 96th floor of the Pearl engulfed in flames, realizing that Sarah and the children are in danger. Determined to reach them, he rushes towards the exit. However, more thugs arrive and open fire, compelling Will to escape through the fire escape. In his escape attempt, he encounters Xia, Botar's ruthless henchwoman, who seizes the tablet from Will and scans his face. Before the other thugs can harm him, the police arrive, providing Will an opportunity to flee. However, Xia manages to escape as well. 
Upon reaching the streets, Will is confronted with the shocking sight of his face displayed on a massive monitor, indicating that he is now a wanted man due to his suspected involvement in the Pearl's fire. The police attempt to apprehend him, but he manages to elude them and sets his sights on a nearby crane situated next to the tower. Inside the Pearl, Sarah desperately tries to prevent smoke from infiltrating their living space, unaware that her actions unintentionally worsen the situation as Henry, who suffers from asthma, struggles to breathe. In another part of the building, Xia and her group of armed accomplices execute the technicians. While their hacker manipulates the ventilation system, intensifying the spread of the fire across multiple floors. Once the hacker completes their task, Xia ruthlessly eliminates him. As guards pursue him, Will ascends the crane and maneuvers it toward the Pearl. With their relentless pursuit, Will successfully hooks the crane into an open window, allowing him to sprint to the edge and leap, ultimately making a daring entrance into the building. The breathtaking spectacle captures the attention of a crowd of onlookers in the city, who cheer and applaud his audacious feat. Meanwhile, Inspector Wu and other law enforcement officials monitor the unfolding events, realizing that Will is risking everything to reach his family inside. Aware of the escalating situation, Zhao decides to make his escape alongside his bodyguard, Okeke, by heading towards a waiting helicopter. However, upon reaching the landing pad, Okeke notices an unfamiliar pilot in the chopper. It becomes apparent that Bota and his henchmen, along with Pierce, who had colluded with them, have arrived to seize a flash drive in Zhao's possession and use the helicopter as their getaway. In the ensuing chaos, gunfire erupts, striking Okeke, but Okeke retaliates by shooting the pilot, causing the helicopter to veer towards the villains and explode. Bodar relentlessly pursues Zhao, but the latter manages to secure himself within the penthouse, keeping out of harm's way for the moment. Sarah guides her children to a safer location, but they are discovered by Pierce who attempts to take them. Sarah defends herself by using a pair of scissors to stab Pierce, allowing the kids to escape. Sarah tries to follow, but a collapsing pillar severs the bridge they need to cross. Just before Pierce can harm her, Will arrives and forcefully pushes Pierce off the bridge, resulting in his demise. Georgia manages to reach the safety of the top of a waterfall. Will instructs Sarah to use a plank to retrieve Henry and reunite him with them. Will then secures Sarah and Henry in an elevator, enabling their escape from the building. Taking a daring risk, Will severs the elevator's chain, causing a rapid descent, but Sarah skillfully activates the emergency brake at the right moment, ensuring their survival. Subsequently, two gunmen discover Georgia and give chase. Will locates them and engages in a battle to protect Georgia, successfully warding off the gunmen. However, Botar eventually catches up with them and takes Georgia hostage, threatening to harm her unless Will finds a way to access the penthouse. The stakes are high as Botar dangles the possibility of throwing Georgia off the roof. To gain control of the security system, Will must navigate the exterior of the building, walking along the side and reaching the turbines where Zhao positioned it. He secures a rope around himself and attaches a weight to prevent him from falling. Despite the perilous task, Will successfully traverses the treacherous path, reaching the turbines and deactivating the system, causing the penthouse doors to open. However, the turbines continue spinning, requiring Will to execute a swift and daring jump. He swings back, but the rope becomes loose and entangles with his prosthetic limb. As the rope gradually unravels, Will manages to catch himself and pull himself back up just in time. Inside the penthouse, Zhao attempts to close the doors, but Will gains entry before they shut. Confronting Zhao at gunpoint, Will demands an explanation for the unfolding events. <laughs> Meanwhile, on the ground, Sarah meets with Inspector Wu, who provides her with information about Bota and his past. Wu's partner maintains suspicions about Will's intentions and implicates Sarah in their alleged plot. However, Sarah aids the investigation by mentioning her observation of Bota and his men wearing parachutes, suggesting that their plan had always involved using parachutes to escape the fire. Zhao discloses to Will that he was coerced by Bota, who exploited their previous collaboration on the construction of the Pearl. Bota demanded payment, threatening to halt the project otherwise. Zhao complied and obtained files implicating Bota in criminal activities. However, the syndicates discovered this and forced Bota to retrieve the incriminating evidence. Will implores Zhao for assistance, emphasizing their shared predicament with Georgia held captive. Will and Zhao arrange a meeting with Bota on the rooftop. In a tense standoff, Zhao seizes the flash drive and a gun, attempting to escape. Demanding a parachute, he orders Bota to comply, and one of Bota's men provides it. Engaging in a fight, Will and Zhao employ the Hall of Mirrors to deceive the villains.
While battling the adversaries and eliminating most of them, Will goes after Georgia. A grenade is hurled, creating a blast that punctures the floor. Will corners Bota, aiming his gun, but Bota holds Georgia and a live grenade, threatening to detonate it if Will fires. This situation echoes the previous hostage crisis. Bota demands the return of the flash drive. Before complying, Will reveals that he is right behind Bota, who was unknowingly talking to a mirror. Will kicks Bota off the ledge, and the grenade explosion claims Bota's life. Will secures Georgia and joins Zhao in their quest for safety. Sarah's encounter with Xia escalates into a fierce confrontation, eventually leading to Inspector Wu arresting Xia. Before her capture, Sarah incapacitates Xia with a powerful kick to the face. Taking advantage of the situation, Sarah seizes the tablet and resets the Pearl system, activating the anti-fire measures and extinguishing the blaze. A helicopter promptly arrives to transport Wheel, Georgia, and Zhao to safety. Will inquires about Zhao's future plans, to which Zhao responds with determination to rebuild. Reunited amidst cheers from the surrounding crowd, Wheel, Georgia, Sarah, and Henry bask in the joy of their triumphant reunion. Inspector Wu commends Will on his remarkable family, to which Will humbly acknowledges his luck. The four of them depart, making their way home, while the echoes of applause linger in the air. And the movie finally ended. What do you think of the movie? Drop your thoughts in the comments section below. Don't forget to hit like and support the channel by subscribing and click the bell icon so that you won't miss our future recaps. And if you have any movie you want us to recap, please do tell us in the comments section as well. And until next time.